Alright, I am back in California and I was happily invited to a private shop to showcase something for you guys and specifically for you guys that are into Hondas I am a Nissan guy so this is kind of unbiased I'm not the most knowledgeable on these vehicles but I do have a solution if you are trying to go 5 lug but first Let's showcase off the car that I have the pleasure of working with. Here we have an Integra that's getting restored. And I'm sure you guys know more about this than I do. Although I do know the processes that went into restoring it. So everything really has been touched zinc plated, vapor honed, everything you can think of and it is amazing. The owner has the freedom to take his time and dial in his car without any worry of the demand of a shop. Um, to the interior and exterior everything is being touched. This Integra actually has 4100 miles. This thing's basically brand new. I'm here with the drivetrain of the car and it's a built B18C and I'm here with the owner, Ben. Hello. And can you tell us more about what has been done to this? Well, yeah. Everything's been restored basically. Right? Yeah, so pretty much we vapor honed everything so it looks as new as it could be. Yeah. And then I send all the components out to Four Pistons and, ah. they, and they fully build it with their CNC head. I think skunk cams. And it's built to better than OEM, huh? Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know what kind of power he's gonna put out, but I'm sure it's better than stock. <laughs> yeah, and it looks reliable too, so. Man, radium bits, Mugen, everything pretty much. I've never seen this piece, what? Yeah, this thing is, what is uh, that? it's called, God, what is it called? Something dizzy, logic, or whatever. Oh, okay. So, a lot of people who want to run direct coil ignition. Yeah. It's all this stuff here. Mm. And you don't have to run a different type of standalone ECU or some other stuff. Oh, I see. You can I actually see. run a stock ECU if you say your motor is stock and you yeah. want to go direct emission. Okay. Yeah, this does the job. Oh, huh. wow. Yeah. Everything zinced. So, Literally everything new. <laughs> well, yeah, we just replayed it, everything. Yeah. As much as, of course, there's a couple of bolts I haven't had time to do. And what I just found out too is that the. Miles on the car is not miles, it's in kilometers. So it's even lower than 4,000, um, which is crazy. Canadian car. <laughs> also, for the engine bay, yeah. is this like, since it has 4,000 kilometers, is this what it came like? No. Or did you no, restore it? No, no, no. we, well, no. We, oh. No. <laughs> There's no like paint damage or anything. Okay. It's just have a lot of grime and just. Filth and dirt. Even and everything. for that low of miles, it was filthy. Yeah, you know, Canadian weather is harsh. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we just kind of give it a really good cleanup. Like things like the cable, was that. Oh. You had that done? No. Or oh, it's, it's called elbow grease. Oh, elbow grease? <laughs> it's called elbow grease. <laughs> yeah. And I see the power steering, you loop the line. Yeah, because and this now has upgraded to uh, electric power steering. Yeah, well, electric, electric power steering. Wow. So you have to loop it. Yeah. Yeah. You have, so you remove all the power steering accessories, line. Mm -hmm. Makes it way more simple. It and looks, you're running AC. Yeah. Full AC, everything. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my God. Yeah. And for the nitty gritty of this video, you can see that this is five lug converted. And we do actually have a solution to a problem that I think a lot of Honda guys that been having and it is going from four lug to five lug yeah. so the common problem that everyone's been having is the axle stub is too short and you can even see with the hub right here if I could do that the height of this is like probably half an inch thicker Ele about 11 to 12 millimeter difference yeah the bearing itself is a lot wider Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So you can you can vis you can, actually you can visually look at it. Yeah. This is a lot deeper. The bearing is quite a bit. It's 11 millimeter difference, mm -hmm. roughly. And you need that contact in order to use the bearing 
efficiently and support, properly. The support. Demand. Yeah, and the solution that Ben has came up with is this nut. Yeah, so compared to the OEM one, you have that compensation to run the five lug because you're gonna run into the issue of there being like empty space that's not being used and it's like half of the bearings being supported and yeah. 11 millimeters not supported. May I ask, why did you come up with the solution? Well, when I did the conversion and I noticed that there's a big section of the bearing is not supported, yeah. in my opinion, I think it's kind of important to have that mm -hmm. supported fully. So we're looking at different ways of doing it and this is what we came up with. Yeah, and there's other solutions on the market, but he has saw that it doesn't solve the problem efficiently. The traditional route of going five lug on an Integra, what does that entail? Um, well, traditional meaning the proper or the poor man's version? The proper way. The proper yeah. way is to convert it all the trailing arms everything to like a type r yeah which you know it comes with all the five look running gear mm -hmm. but everything's the same yeah except this piece mm -hmm. and maybe the lower control arm which is you know for some people you know they say it's better but i think yeah. your average guy is not going to notice the difference also what is the cost difference for someone say they do that route compared to the solution right. that we so, have offered. So what's out on the internet, I think these days you're gonna spend like 2,000 plus to get like a U-set GDM. Yeah. And uh, that's 2,000, I've seen more, and usually they're pretty worn out. Yeah. So you have to probably replace a lot of the bushings and everything mm -hmm. and to make it properly. And so I came out with this, you can use whatever is on your car. And uh, we're thinking about selling a pair for 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the, the difference in the money is you can spend two thousand dollars on. Yeah, you can else. invest in other parts like yeah. wheels or we're any set of your nice design. spoon brakes in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this will be a nice solution if you have any sort of Honda that you want to convert to a five lug. I think we have a couple cars in mind that we're gonna be dabbling into, and we'll show you guys. actually went through very many iterations of this project and finally dialed it into the final one. Um, the one on the car right now is a prototype but as you can see everything is brand new on this car to the brakes and a work in progress but it's a beauty. <laughs> everything from the exhaust manifold Two other parts too have been Cerakoted and this is a Mugen exhaust manifold. Oh my god. It's gonna last forever hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it wouldn't turn color. <laughs> yeah. And then other parts have been Cerakoted such as uh, the rotors and these are actually custom Wilwood rotor, uh, rotor hats right here. And same Cerakote as well. And you can see everything has been zinced on this car too. Even, this is not OEM, huh? It is. The, it's zinced OEM? Oh, it is, okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. It's called chrome This bit of finish. Oh, zinc, chrome. zinc. Okay, let me tell you. Zinc, yeah, when you just I wanna do, learn. <laughs> when you do zinc, it is silver color. Oh, it's silver. Yeah, so after the zinc coating, yeah. they dip it in a chromate solution to chromate. turn it gold. Ah, okay. Yeah. And you and, you have a guy in San Diego. Oh, there. yeah. I mean, there's a plating shop just down the street from us. We can oh, that, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, man. So these are all nuts and bolts. Do you just like toss all the bolts and nuts like and well, memorize I, it or? Well, I mean, thank, oh. thank God that I have a manual. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have a manual. You have a cross reference, a lot of stuff. Oh my god, look at how many parts there are. Well, these, these are all the 
Oh my god, okay. It's all been refinished. So everything has been refinished. And these parts are... No, these are BMW oh, okay. parts. <laughs> are there other projects? Yeah. <laughs> and those axles are... Yeah, I restored them. OEM as yeah, well? OEM. But they are brand new, so you know, only 2000 Oh yeah, yeah. So oh we god. just put new new boots and everything on it. That's handy that you have the space and time to like do all the organization for one car because I feel like other shops like they probably just put it all in at once and yeah. figure it out yeah. but that is awesome we'll give you guys a little sneak peek on what's in this garage so these are all personal collection from Nissan's Honda's BMW Ford and of course Honda Cannot forget this RX-7. Oh yes. What a beauty. And it does have an LS, but that's all I'll say. <laughs> this is a secret to how he gets all the OEM parts looking brand new. Vapor honing technologies. Oh man. Can't believe you have this in-house. <laughs> well, you know how much it costs. I mean, I have an idea, but I don't know the exact. Well, I'm assuming it's pretty didn't bad. Didn't you like had a, some type of a engine part done? Oh yeah, yeah. I I usually send my stuff in to a shop. It probably costs like a hundred to two hundred for a bin or something. Yeah, but didn't you like did the your your um, S uh, S thirteen? S thirteen, right? Yeah, the intake manifold. Yeah, how and much did that cost you? That costed me like one to two hundred dollars. Yeah, I know, but if you have that many parts. Yeah, if I did everything it's up really quick. <laughs> vapor honing is very expensive, so and I'm like good in my hands, so <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. Convenient. Out of all these cars, I'll pick my favorite. And I could already see this S thirteen hatch. I can't wait till you get that started. Yeah. Wait, how many miles does that have again? Oh, this car? Yeah. The, I don't know, about 60, 70,000 miles. Oh, okay. So and it's, it's yeah. green, huh? It's green. That's a that's beauty. <laughs> I like I'm that. debating whether I want you to keep it green or change the color on it. Yeah. Oh. That's a, out of all these variations of cars, what like brand do you like, go Why? to the most? I don't know, mostly JDM stuff. Yeah, oh, like Japanese brands. Yeah, I have yeah. one oddball as a Ford Focus. I know, that is odd. odd. Yeah. Well, technically, this car is designed in England. So oh, <laughs> okay, I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. And he has a M5 over there, which that'll, that's in the works. It looks like a crazy restoration on a whole table and everything. Was this table custom made? Oh, wow. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you, Ben, for inviting me to the shop. Okay. And I look forward to showcasing more of what's going on here. Cool. <laughs> if you guys are interested in Ben's product, we'll go ahead and provide an email where you could contact us below and um, be sure to message him. And thank you for watching. Bye. See you.